Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode of Lancer 101. In today's episode on rules on gaming, attacks. Attacks are basically mechanics where you, well, attack your enemy, dealing damage, and other things. To attack, you will need to use actions like say, skirmish and barrage, which I will explain in detail in a later video. There are three types of attack. Melee attack, ranged attack, and tech attack. Melee attack, is where you use various instruments of pain to bludgeon people. With melee attack, you pick a target within your weapon threat and line of sight, then roll a d20, plus your grit and any accuracy or difficulty. If the number you get is bigger or equal to the target's evasion, you have successfully smashed them. Melee also completely ignores any forms of covers, so it doesn't matter whether your enemy is cowering behind a piece of chest height cover or not. Ranged attack, is basically guns. With ranged attack, the mechanic is basically the same as melee attack, except this time you use the weapon range instead of weapon threat. However, cover matters in ranged attack, with soft cover providing plus 1 difficulty and hard cover providing plus 2 difficulty. Also, as mentioned in the previous video, getting too close will give both you and the target engaged status, which give both of you another plus 1 difficulty for ranged attack. Tech attack, is part hacking, and part literally magic. Like the other two, tech attack works with the same mechanic, except this time it's sensor range instead of weapon threat or range, tech attack bonus instead of grit, and against e-defense instead of evasion. What this means is that tech attack requires more investment in system stats so you could reliably hack with it, as your hit chance won't increase when you level up like with melee or ranged attack. This also means that you can easily be godlike in hacking if you dump all of your stat points into systems first, leaving you vulnerable in all other aspects. Next thing I would like to mention is something most people are familiar with, critical hits. Upon rolling equal or more than 20 with a melee or ranged attack roll, it's now a critical hit. On a critical hit, you roll all of your damage dices twice, including bonus damage dice, and pick the highest result gained from the dices. So, on to the next topic, range. Range is basically how far your gun can shoot and deal damage effectively, it is measured from the edge of your grid so a bigger character has bigger range, and your target must be at least one space within your range to be shot at. Threat is instead how far your blade or hammer could reach, and it works exactly the same as range except for one aspect, both melee and ranged weapons could use it for overwatch reaction. Basically, if there's a target within your threat and they decide to move out of it, you can attack them with an overwatch reaction. And unless noted otherwise, a weapon will minimally have threat 1 even when it's not listed, so almost every single weapon in game could do this. Sometimes, a weapon don't have range, they have attack patterns instead. How does it work, if there are people within the attack pattern, they all get attacked. You will have to roll separate attack rolls for each target, but for the damage roll, you roll once, and bonus damage gets halved if there are multiple characters being affected, even if you miss everyone except for one. Attack patterns also come in four forms, line, cone, blast, and burst. Line, targets everything in a line, the number determines how long the line pattern is in a straight line. I do not recommend using trigonometry when firing from high ground for angled shots since that's technically not how this works, but if you want to, go ahead. Cone, shoots out a cone of fire, the number shows how long and how wide the cone is at its widest point, and as you can see, there's only odd number cone because even number ones do not work so well. Blast, blasts everything within it, the number indicates how big the radius of the area would be, and you also track line of sight and cover from the center of the pattern, so watch out for where you are shooting first. Burst, basically the same as blast except you are in the center. Usually, you don't take damage if the burst is for a weapon attack, and if the burst effect can last longer than a turn, it moves with you as the center. In some cases, an attack pattern has range listed together. This means that the area pattern can be drawn from a point within the range. Also, some traits and systems can increase range, these increase range and range only, do not increase any attack patterns with these. Now that you have learned all that, let's talk about what you can actually shoot at. What counts as valid targets in the game? Well, it obviously includes other character, so you can shoot them. All objects also count except for those that are being held or worn or part of a mech, so you cannot snipe individual parts off. And finally, empty spaces in the environment or on the ground, mostly to blow it up. As long as they are within your range, sensor, or threat, as well as line of sight, you can target them, 
usually. Obviously, you cannot shoot yourself, unless noted otherwise. So, how does line of sight work? Simple, as long as you can draw a straight line to your target, it's within your line of sight. Cover, obviously blocks that, same goes for terrain. Also, line of sight doesn't mean if you can see the target, you can shoot them. Like say, a drone spots your target but there's a wall between both of you, so that's a no. Some weapons however can go over or around cover but they have disadvantages in other areas. Also, invisibility is a thing too. When a character is invisible, they can still be detected by sensor, but they are incredibly difficult to target, so difficult that you have 50% chance of outright missing before you even make attack roll, just use a dice or coin. Also, invisible characters can just hide without cover, that makes them incredibly dangerous. Speaking of cover, let's talk about it. There's two types of covers in this game, soft cover and hard cover. Soft cover is cover that doesn't outright block incoming fire, rather, soft cover makes it harder to shoot at the target by making them harder to be seen. Things like smoke, blinding light, foliage, low hill, and other counts as soft cover, and provides plus one difficulty against incoming fire as long as the line of sight intersects with the soft cover. Hard cover on the other hand is, well, hard. They work as proper cover and could actually eat incoming fire. Examples include buildings, actual wall, fortifications, destroyed mech, other mech, and other things. Hard cover provides plus two difficulty against incoming fire but only if you are hugging against it, if not, you will only get soft cover. Also, if you are way bigger than the cover, you might as well be standing out in the open because it's useless. You only benefit from one cover at a time too, so you can't expect plus 3 difficulty against incoming attack if you hide behind a rock and cover your position in smoke. And as previously mentioned, some mechs have traits that let them be utilized as walking cover. And finally, just to point something out, accuracy and difficulty. I know this isn't part of the actual attacks section in the book, but I'm pretty sure most people use this game mechanics for the first time when attacking or getting attacked by people. So, how does it work? Basically, when you roll an attack roll, check, or save, which all use d20 dice, accuracy and difficulty can improve or decrease your chance of success. Both come in the forms of d6 dice. For accuracy, you roll the dice, and add the number to your d20 roll, for difficulty, just do the same and minus the number instead. If you get multiple accuracy or difficulty, you don't add all the number together. Instead, you roll the dices, and pick only the highest number to add or minus into your d20 roll, discarding the rest. And if you have both accuracy and difficulty in the same d20 roll, annihilate them like matter antimatter interaction and use whatever that survives. If they are all gone, just treat your roll as normal. And that's all for attack section of mech combat rule for Lancer, I will see you all next time.